Good day everyone. Uh, in this tutorial today we are going to talk about the library OpenSSL. OpenSSL developed by Netscape Communication used in TCP IP. OpenSSL SSL stands for Secure Socket Layer. So this protocol helps us to encrypt communication between the client and server so uh, now we will start our, our tutorial with um, the functionality of open SSL to check all the functionality of open SSL we open the terminal and uh, we use the command line man open SSL. It will give us all the functionality available for open SSL. So it will show us all the functionalities available with open SSL. We will deal with certification, calculation of digest, encryption and anticipation with cypress, handling as mine, time request, and also it gives you all the command that you can use, and many more. So, for us, we will start our tutorial with uh, symmetric encryption <laughs> okay so now let's start with symmetric encryption first we're going to create a file In this file, we'll put uh, whatever message. Okay, let's save it and close. All right, so now we are going to encrypt this file using one of the functionality of open SSL. For this, the command is open SSL in C for encrypt and we choose any algorithm, any cipher, sorry, uh, for this example I'm going to use DS3 in as input the file and as output the new name of the file let's call it file one dot ANC he asks us for a password we type it again okay so let's check we got file one dot ANC if we open it we can see our encrypted file let's continue so if you want to decrypt the file the command that OpenSSL gives us is OpenSSL ANC we choose with the same algorithm ds3 as input the encrypted file with the option minus d for decrypt and minus out the new file name file 
let's call it uh, file dot t dot t we use the same password okay so let's check we got file one dot tech if you open it we got our message okay this is for the symmetric encryption so let's go to the asymmetric encryption now first we must remember that for asymmetric we need a set of key the private key and the public key so we're going to generate keys with the library of open ssl so if you generate keys is open ssl gen rsa we must uh, protect our key with any cipher so in this case i will use the blowfish and uh, as a output i will create my key my key and the size of the key okay so we put the password we type again okay let's see okay private key good so now that we generated key we need to extract the public key from the private key so for that the open ssl give us this possibility open ssl as a as input the key extraction of the public key and as output call it pub okay and we put the password and we check we got at public key if we check file uh, sorry in this case okay here it is public key good so let's continue uh, now after generated key extracted public key we are going to encrypt a file with the public key so for that open ssl give us this open this r alt minus encrypt with introduction of the pub the key minus key with the public key and we put our file dot txt and as output our file encrypted okay so let's check if we try to open file one dot we got our encrypted file okay now that we encrypted the file we are going to decrypt the file so the command is open ssl r alt minus decrypt minus in key and we use the private key to decrypt as input we have the encrypted file 
and as output we have the new file file dot d and the password okay let's see okay if we open it file we have our message okay good so now we are going to sign this file open SSL else alt minus sign in okay with the private key and the file that we're going to sign is file dot txt and as output we got a file dot sign and the password for the key uh, I think is the password uh, uh, no the file name is the problem here it's file one dot txt okay so the password okay good so we sign we got our sign so now after sign we're going to verify the signature and for this we're going to do the same thing as before just change a little stuff so the command is OpenSSL minus verify. We verify with the private with the public key. Key with the public key and as output or we call it the uh, file dot uh, verif and as input our file dot sign okay so let's check we have our file dot if if you open it okay fine so now after we check the signature we are going to check the signature with a digest using a hash function so for that with OpenSSL we do it like this OpenSSL digest with the, uh, the cipher of we're going to use the SHA256 we sign with the private key and we're going to call it file file dot hash and we're going to put the input file file one dot txt then we put the password Let's 
see we have 5.h dot h and after that we need to verify this signature of with the digest with the digest uh, digest with the cipher two five six minus verify with the public key the signet signature of the file dot hash of the file dot t, dot txt so verification of the file is okay so meaning that the document hasn't been modified so thank you guys to have watched this video if you like it you can put the thumbs up and subscribe for more video thank you